Hey, this is Nuno Tavares from Automated Marketer, and today we are gonna go over the brand new feature of allowing for multiple dashboards inside of a high-level account. So stay tuned and build along with us. All right, now before we get started, something that you need to know is that you can only access multiple dashboards if they're on the 497 SaaS Pro account. Now, what I'll tell you is you can use the link below and you can upgrade to that account, and you can go ahead and have access to these features. Now, if you go over to the left-hand side, you're gonna notice that you're gonna have Launchpad and Dashboard and all the other menu items here. You're gonna go over to your dashboard, and inside of here, you're gonna notice a brand new highlighted blue icon here. You're gonna click on blue icon, and you're gonna notice that you can add a dashboard Dashboard. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit add dashboard and you're going to notice that you can give the dashboard a name right here under dashboard name. So we're going to talk about conversions. All right. And then here we're going to have either private for me only, or I want to share it with everybody in my team. In this case, I want to share with everybody. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I have the choice of either allowing them to view and edit or only myself to do the editing, which then I would turn it into view only. When I click into view only, this will give me the only the ability of adding any widgets or modifying this current dashboard. Now for conversions, I really want to start with conversion rate. I want to know what my conversion rate is from new lead to one or lost. And here it's where it's going to be represented. Now, because I click the ones on the bottom, those are pre-selected. Also know that you can just hit the edit button on the top right hand side and you can add any widgets here. Now, if you're looking for a number, a graph, a circular kind of pie chart or a bar chart of any sort, you can select. And if you see the green numbers here, it will actually tell you if it's available in the kind of data format that you want. Now, again, remember, this is just beginning. So that means that there's going to be more and more data being added. So we're going to be able to manipulate this a little bit better. So for instance, in a pie chart, want to know how many opportunities I have open versus whatever status that they are. Now, obviously this is a test account. We won't have any of that, but normally it would be a one lost new lead and all that. It would be all in the circular pie chart and I'd be able to see how many are in each. Now in event setting, I can actually select different properties like the order ascending versus descending, how many I want to show as far as limits, and then the dates that I want to create on and the actual dashboard date range. Now, I always want to do it in the last, like we'll say last year, this month, and I always want to keep it to this month. And again, I can put created on or updated on whenever the actual property and this particular widget was dated on, because like that, if I want to go back and modify and I want to know any of these things, I can. The other thing to note is that you also have conditions. You can create if the condition is open and the lead value is, like I say, at 100, whatever it might be, right? And you can keep adding conditions for particular features in order for this thing to work. I'm going to go ahead and hit save, and it will obviously create the chart that I want. Now, you can manipulate this data as much as you want. So know that you can keep adding features. Go to contacts if you just want to know how many contacts you have by count. All right, I can set an advanced setting on here, set the date range, and again, go to my conditions and even add a condition in here. So I can put assigned user, or I could say tag is not, because if they have tag, let's say of unsubscribe, or I wanna measure everybody that's currently in my system that is not unsubscribed, so that becomes a contact count. So you can manipulate this data to make it a dashboard that you actually want. And then what's cool about it, because you shared it with everybody, this will be available every time you log in. And then if I'm done, I hit save changes, and now I'll be able to switch back and forth between my main dashboard and the dashboard that I created and solo my staff. Really, really cool feature. Remember, you're going to have to be on the 497 plan in order to do that. So make sure you upgrade to take advantage of this because this is pretty wild. And the fact that you can manipulate and do all those different things is super relevant and important. And again, you can track a whole bunch of other things. There's even ability to put in Google Analytics in here. So if you have in here in general, and you'll notice that you'll have some Google ad functions, Facebook ads reporting, and even Google ads reporting in here. So you can bring that on in and you can make it solely for Google ads, solely for Facebook ads or ad in general, include your Facebook and your Google. So again, it's pretty limitless. And you even have the ability of looking at your Google analytics charts and your lead sources of where leads are coming in from. Hope this video was helpful and we'll see you on the next one.